However, I came across a very interesting survey about just further showing the fact that Judaism is just a Luciferian uh, satanic false religion and the fact that just like Islam, it can't stand any kind of uh, criticism. And uh, in light of recent news regarding, you know, a certain uh, former singer, uh, this, uh, basically this, this poll, this survey came out and it said essentially that these Talmudic Jewish college students are more likely to oppose freedom of speech on campus, you know, and it ties into the fact how many of them uh, are obviously democratic voting. This is over in America, but it's likely the same here in Canada as well. Uh, but essentially what's going on is that just like Islam, Judaism can't stand criticism. And the survey has shown that, uh, especially on college campuses, which already are just a, a haven for all kinds of insanity, that the Jewish, the Talmudic Jewish college students, and by the way, before, before someone says, oh, you're anti-Semitic, uh, I criticize Judaism as a religion. If that's anti-Semitic, then you're the same kind of person who would call me Islamophobic for criticizing Islam. So I'm an equal opportunist, false religion basher. So just... Uh, you, if you don't like that, you can go watch something else. But essentially, this uh, poll, this this survey, is actually covered on a Jewish website, a Talmudic Jewish website, and it says here in the article, one of the hallmarks of Jewish tradition is its intense focus on debate and disagreement. Unfortunately, it appears that this value being is being lost on many of the nation's younger Jews, namely those currently enrolled in colleges and universities. Well, I'd argue too that Judaism is every bit as evil as Islam. Uh, it's been uh, that way for quite a while. Uh, a just released survey from the Foundation for Individual Rights and in Education captured the voices of over 37,000 students at 159 colleges and provides empirical insight into the current state of speech and expression on campus today. The picture is not good. The data shows that one third of all students think that trying to, to basically disrupt and shout down speakers uh, that when they visit campus is sometimes or always acceptable. Among the Jewish students surveyed 40% feeling, or basically 40% reported feeling this way. Uh, as for blocking other students from attending the ca a campus speech and hearing potentially controversial ideas, 30% of students surveyed and 18% of the Jewish students think that this is sometimes or always acceptable. Yeah, so, you know, and this is not a new thing. This has been on for quite a while. Uh, Judaism, the Talmudic Jews have always been the, one of the biggest enemies of freedom of speech, just like, uh, just like the Muslims over in, in you know, uh, Pakistan or whatever, which again showing, and again, I'm criticizing Judaism as a religion. Because it is a false religion so if someone does, if someone thinks that you know if you think that's anti-semitic then go watch something else because i again i'm an equal opportunist and you know this is no different than what you know if you, if you were to survey muslims over in pakistan but it says here in the article this these data suggest that jewish students are more open to the idea of shutting down speech and decimation of ideas than other of, basically than other college students how are we to understand these troubling findings political identity is a good place to start like american jews overall jewish college students uh, tend to be Democrats. The data shows that 54% of Jewish students surveyed identify as Democrat compared to 35% of students surveyed overall. When you include self-identifying independents who learn Democratic, who, or who lean Democratic, 67% of Jewish college students fall into the Democratic column compared to a lower national figure of 55%. In this survey, identifying as Democrat strongly correlates with espousing anti-free speech positions. Again, not surprising when it comes to the satanic false religion of Talmudic Judaism. But it says here, continuing on in the article, the data show that 81% of Democratic identifying Jewish students believe that there are cases when shutting down speakers is, is acceptable compared to a much lower 59% of Jewish political independents and leaners uh, and just 44% of Republicans. Uh, similarly, almost 60% of, uh, of college Jewish Democrats maintain blocking their peers from hearing ideas than uh, of others that uh, can be, or basically saying that this can be justified while slightly more than a third of Jewish independents and, lear and learners and a quarter of Jewish Republicans feel the same way. So essentially, it's like, not only do we not want to hear, we're going to stop you from hearing it, the, uh, the opposing view the well, as well. You know, this is the kind of, this is the thing, is that, uh, the problem, the thing about this is that the Talmudic Jews have, ever since the whole Holocaust thing happened, they've continually invoked the thing of oh, anti-Semitism and Holocaust uh, to shut down free speech, you know, and which is kind of funny because that's what the Nazis would do as well. They shut down freedom of speech. So they're using Nazi tactics to, you know, oppose what they what they would view as hate speech, which is kind of weird when you really uh, think about that. And by the way, too, I'm a Slavic. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm from Slavic, you know, the Slavic part of Europe, uh, for, um, from Russia, for example, I've said that before. So calling me a Nazi is just as ridiculous as calling a Jew a Nazi, because we were also victims of the Holocaust as well. Just want to just throw that out there. But uh, this is just, you know, 
showing the fact that that Talmudic Jews are overall, I mean, not all of them, but most of them are against freedom of speech. And this is not surprising when you consider the fact that they tried to shut down Jesus Christ when he was speaking the truth as well. Uh, back in the, in the, like the Pharisees, for example, they were trying to do that. You read the gospel accounts, uh, they were constantly, like, for example, John 5, John 8, John 10. Yeah, they've always been the biggest enemies of free speech. And this is just further showing that. So anyway, uh, don't be deceived by the false religion of Talmudic Judaism. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.